Hello, in this Pixel Flux View tutorial, you will learn how to use the Mesh Normal Angle node and the Mesh Position node in your texture compositions. The Mesh Normal Angle node creates a monochromatic image, where each pixel represents the angle between the model normal and a vector defined in the node attributes. The value of the pixel is interpolated between white for 0 degrees and black for 180 degrees. You will also learn about the new Mesh Position node, which renders an RGB image where each value represents the relative position of the texel to a bounding box. For this project, we will use this mortar model that has three procedural textures. A gray perlin texture for the stone albedo. A red and green perlin texture that we'll use to stain the mortar, as if somebody had just macerated fresh jalapenos in chipotles. And a voronoi texture with turbulence for the normal map. From the 3D menu, drag and drop a mesh normal angle node. Press and hold the Shift key down to disable Auto Connect. Set the size to 1024 by 1024 and connect the node to the scene texture's albedo input. Let's make this material a metal to see the effects of the node more clearly. Add a Curves node to modify the output of the Mesh Normal Angle node. And modify the curve to shade white at the lowest angles. Set the vector to X positive, 1, 0, 0. Set the vector to Y positive. Set the vector to 1, 1, 1. Set the vector to Z positive. The Mesh Normal Angle node can also take as input a normal image. The normals on the image are applied to the model and used to compute the angle. Set the metalness back to black. Modify the curve to show the chile only on the regions with an angle which set up lower than about 10 degrees. Now we need to mask out the chile from the top of the mortar and the base. For this, we'll use the new Mesh Position node. Drag and drop a Mesh Position node and connect it to the albedo input. Add a Split Channels node and modify the individual positions. Red for X, green for Y, and blue for Z. Modify the Z channel with a curves node to show the bottom of the mortar. Use a length node to multiply the normal angles and position output images. Connect the texture to the albedo channel. And this is how you can use the UV Mesh Normal Angle and the Mesh Position nodes in your texture compositions. Thank you for watching this Pixaflux video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow us on Facebook and Google+.